Welcome to Yeah Good Chat Podcast, brought to you by Great Southern Bank. We'll be opening the door to the lives of your favourite baggers, just like Great Southern Bank's here to help you open the door to your own home sooner. Welcome to Yeah Good Chat, Season 2, presented by Great Southern Bank. Um, we're very lucky to have the first year co-vice captain to 2022 Rising Star and the club best and fairest winner. Holy moly. Holy Hill. Moly. <laughs> How are you? I'm great, Jess. Good. Thanks for having me on Yeah Good Chat. Yeah, it's good chat. Be here. Hopefully we make it a great chat. Yeah, it's usually a great chat between you and I. Good banter. Yeah. I think we probably carry the banter for the team. I think so. I'd probably say that. Yeah, just a thought. The vibes. We the definitely vibes. carry yeah. the vibes. Also probably the team bullies, but <laughs> I think that's kind of like the layover but there. My, that just shows love. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? What's it called when you like... Scrap this, I can't remember what the word is. I don't know. Just ignore me. Okay. Anyway, but so with that intro, you've got quite a few accolades. How does it make you feel to be such a young player with oh. yeah, so much behind your belt or under your belt already? I don't know. Like, I don't really feel like a young player anymore. Mm -hmm. Just because, yeah, I've been at Carlton for a few years now and the team's really new. Um, I think when you win something like Rising Star, then comes the expectation. So it's kind of like you stop being a young player and people expect things of you the next season. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, try not to think about that too much. Um, Just go out and play, play every game. Yeah. And this season's been great because... Um, I mean, apart from round two, we've been really competitive in every game. So it hasn't really been about individual players. It's been about, like, what can we produce as a team? So yeah. I'm pretty pumped about that, to be honest. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, with the expectation, how did you handle it initially? No. Like, did you go to work in the off-season to make sure you were yeah. getting better? Or I think, was it- yeah, definitely, like... Oh, I always love to, like, I just love exercising anyway, so I love to stay really fit in off-season. Um, and then, yeah, really went to work on my skills this off-season because, yeah, people expect a bit, like, people expect you to perform every match. So I wanted to, like, translate my, like, clearances or kicks into, like, good forward 50 entries and stuff. So I really went to work on my kicking. Um, early days, I did some work with Luke Power. Um, yep. And he's, yeah, he's a fun guy. And we just did some king work, which is good. And Diesel always likes to come around and, Every um, time. <laughs> come and critique your kicking, which is fun. Um, so yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that development. And I feel like if every game I'm getting to use it a bit more, which is cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So have you found like the club's just super helpful? So you're using like Diesel, Luke Power, like there's not necessarily involved within the women's program so how have you had access to them and how have you found like the whole club approach to help you get better um oh it's amazing like i'm probably at the club a little bit too much in the off season which is why i get access to them because they're really happy to help like yeah they they're actually so into it and especially this season they've been like really engaging with us the boys players as well um so yeah i guess just like casual conversations in the hallway can kind of come it turn into yeah, sessions like you, you've been doing some stuff with Pido. Um, yeah, it's just like cool that we have access to that because yeah. we're here at day, in the daytime. The daytime. The game daytime. changer. Absolute it's game changer. And you spoke about our games, how we've been quite competitive and everything. Give me a debrief of last weekend. Obviously, the result didn't go our way, but yeah, just the fact that we were competitive. Yeah, I was, I was like, like annoyed after the game, not because we didn't play well I was frustrated I was just like annoyed because how we were so in it yeah um right up to the last second which is like a few missed opportunities probably hurt us in the end um and it's always a fun matchup like us be Richmond everyone loves playing Richmond it's always fiery I feel like there's a few sore bodies after that game honestly um but yeah annoying but I feel like we take a lot out of it. Like each week we're learning a lot about how we play and how we can improve and then take into the next game yeah and I think We've got the game plan foundation as well. We're just adding the detail yeah. to every bit of game, like even um, changing the opposition and everything, having that yeah. different focus and that has been... The Oppo analysis has been really good. Yeah. I'm loving it, like al- analysing a new um, yeah. team, actually, especially because like, we're in the midfield together. You and I are like, bouncing things yeah. off each other. It's what if we try this? What if we yeah. try that? <laughs> How good? Like, um, like that. <laughs> and then 
in that midfield group, we've got Kili Schraff, who is having an absolute ripper of a season. Yeah. Um, how's her development been? Do you see yourself like with that leadership role, you helping out that kind of thing? Yeah, I have, I'm loving what Kili Schraff is doing at the moment. Um, I think she's such a quiet player, so it's hard sometimes to get like you want to check in on her but you're not actually sure how she's going because you're like she's like yeah I'm good because she's just like a bit of a yeah. soldier like we'll just keep going um but like her game on the weekend like obviously Mon Conti's always going to have a big game she's a good player but what Kills is able to do to just um stick with her and then get a lot of her own ball as well was really cool to see and I just want her to like step into her confidence a bit more because like she's such a good player she doesn't really realize it yet yeah just so, absolutely own it yeah it's going to be elite when she does yeah so that's really cool. And then speaking of the leadership, as co-vice captain, um, has it been different this year or has there been any le- learning curves? Um, I mean, it was pretty wild when Kez was injured. Yeah. Was just, How'd you go with the toss? It, yeah. Oh, the toss was fun. So Jess yeah. Alpos is like, hey, don't do the toss. Like, man, I was like, Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's like, I don't want to do it. I was like, girl, I do it. Finally, um, um, this is why I put my hand up for this. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, mummy, round one. It was doing it. And so I was like, hey, queen. And then um, I think I won it. So that's fun. Won my first toss. But yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's quite crazy. Like when Bucky came up to Jess and I in the lead up to round one, was like, hey, Kez isn't playing. Like, you guys are going to be co captains. I was like, yeah. I had like a little smile. I was like, wait, that's actually really cool. Yeah. Um, it's and, huge. Yeah. I think we had a pretty good dynamic. Just like it's good having both of us in there because nice we balance. bounce with each other. And, and now then Kez is back. That means you have like one like leader in each line and then the other leaders, of course. But like it's pretty, it's a pretty good system we got going. Yeah. yeah. With the toss, did you change it up from game to game? I just want to... Nah, um, Tails never fails. Tails has never failed fails. me once. But it didn't fail me twice. Does that make sense? I won twice. So two out of three aim bad. Yeah. Well, considering it's a 50-50 kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I think that's probably good for me. Yeah. yeah. Just we'll see if you get the fourth one. That's <laughs> leadership, you know, winning the toss, <laughs> I'd say. Well, it really is. <laughs> How do you pick which way to go? Do you ask oh, God, someone beforehand? No, yeah. I was, like, going up to Bucky and like, hey, so, like, what way do you want to go? He's like, I don't care. I was like, oh, God, just tell me. <laughs> tell anyway, me. I just made it up. Did you? First first round, I was like, let's kick to all the people first, yeah. you know, all the that's squad. Fair. I know um, I once picked Kez's brain about this. <laughs> You're really just a ratty thing. <laughs> but she said she asks Das. Oh, because oh, Das is like, asks oh, a up. forward. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, which way do you want to start? That's good. Well, I'll take that into consideration. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of advice. Thank you, Jess. Kind of broken the eyes, but icebreaker question brought to where us really by awkward. each other. So <laughs> really awkward, but let's break this ice. Um, brought to us by Great Southern Bank. What was the first thing you splurged on? Okay, I'm pretty good with my money, you know. Yeah, but I think I'm pretty bad when it comes to like um, awards nights. Mm-hmm. I'm like too lazy to go and rent something and like try it on and then return it, clean or whatever. I'm like just too lazy to do that. So I end up just buying a really expensive dress that I'm going to wear once. Yeah. Um, so I think I, yeah, bought a, um, I don't want to tell you how much it was. <laughs> What's an expensive? Just give me the designer. Camilla Omar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a really nice dress and Nils was with, with, yeah. with me and she's like, Mim, you've got to do it. And I was like, oh, you're such a bad influence on me, Amelia. She'll just say yes. Yeah, but like, she won't actually buy herself because no. you know how indecisive she is. But she's just a um, yes girl. If you want yeah. a yes on buying something, you yeah. go to Mills. So um, I bought that, which is great. I've actually worn it twice though. So that's so good. So pretty much you got it for 50% off. Pretty much, Jess. That's a great shout. Yeah. Girl now. <laughs> girl now. <laughs> Um, what about you? How have you splurged on? Um, well, yesterday I bought a Dyson Air wrap. <laughs> Which, splurged on that. No, but just I think it was a good buy because as I walked into the change room, I said, Jess, what have you done with your hair? Like, it looks amazing. I know. Took so, me 15 minutes. Ex- yeah. So I think it's probably worth it. So compliments yep. around. I know. I know. I've also splurged. I splurge a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what else? <laughs> I bought a PlayStation. What? I gave a girl. Okay. Yeah, I knew. Did it to, so Just, I could play Hogwarts. <laughs> you are such a nerd. What is what is up at Hogwarts PlayStation game? Harry Potter. What do you do? I know what Harry Potter is, but what do you do? Yeah, you get to fight Voldemort Hogwarts. or something. Oh, that's it. Yeah. There's no like fighting. I'm like Hogsmeade and Hogsmeade. Yeah. So what do you? Yeah, like 
you don't have some butterbeer at Hogsmeade or something. Yeah, yeah. You can do what you want. See, I'm a bit of a nerd too, so obviously yeah, yeah, I get no, it. I love it. I just think I love it. that's, you know what? Sure. Yeah, I, I am a splitter. It's not very good. So, outside of footy, what do you get up to? Uni? Yes, um, I'm studying a Bachelor of Science at Melbourne Uni. Mm-hmm. Um, just two subjects this semester because yeah. it's just too much, you know. Yeah. Where you Girls doing gotta live. Time? Um, some semesters I do. Yeah. It just depends how I'm feeling, you know. Yeah. I'm going to be there for ages anyway, so I may as well just drag it out. <laughs> that was the advice kids gave me. She's a captain, Honestly. so I'm just going to take that. Yeah, because um, what are you going to do if you finish it sooner? Exactly, it's not like I you're going to get a job. Well, hopefully we're going to be full-time yeah. in a few years. So that's With the new CBA, it's looking that way. Like it's pretty dope. Yeah. Um, can you say dope on this? Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Uh, <laughs> it's a good chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't even know. But, like... I feel like I need to think about what I actually want to do after a bit more because I yeah. was leaning towards the engineering side of things, but now I'm kind of like, I want to be outside, like maybe something agriculture or like um, just like environmental yeah. area. Cause so you don't necessarily have career goals or anything that you're aspiring to in um, say like, are you like a 10 year planner kind of oh operator? God, no, I'm the most yeah. disorganized person. Like I'm a, maybe a day to day planner. Like, <laughs> like if I don't have week my phone week. calendar, <laughs> like <Any> teamworks. <laughs> no, no. If I don't have that, then like, good luck. You won't see me for like three weeks. Anyway, it's fine. We're good. I'm good. Jess. Fine. So there's no career goals, no career plans. No, you're like, just like, I wanted like, yeah do something in the science area because i really enjoy it and i think it's really interesting and then especially with like yeah the environmental side of things like renewable energy i think it's going to be really important um issue or topic for us in the next however many decades so someone's got to get onto it exactly me you won't be out of a job no (laughs) no (laughs) no um and have you been doing recruiting work with the club um not necessarily recruiting work i'm just like I'm interested in coaching under 18. Yeah. Um, I've done some stuff with Oakley Chargers, their girls program. They just won the flag. So I don't, think, I don't know if that has that... anything to do with me. Yeah. I don't think so because it wasn't there enough. But okay. I'll take a little piece of that um, you should. success. Add that to the spiel of your introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've been doing a bit of um, coaching with them and I just really enjoy that. Um, and then, yeah, the club sometimes gets me in to do some, like look at some under 18 players just because... Yeah. Yeah, it's good. You you want them to fit into the group as well. So I guess like to having a the player, people. yeah, yeah. Um, suss the vibe a little bit. Yeah, that'd be helpful for them. So what have you been doing with those under 18s? Have you been like individual coaching kind of stuff or has it been more yeah. like mentoring? Um, I think I kind of do a bit of both. Like, I don't necessarily have like a mentoring time where I'm like, hey, come chat to me for 20 minutes. But like, I'll go, <laughs> I'll go to training. That um, is not you at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. When, um, yeah, no, I just like take a few drills and then also if I'm not like taking a drill then I'll just go have a chat to usually some of the older players who are kind of like juggling year 12 and stuff yeah. um, and just say how are you going because I've been there I guess and then help them um, I think it's just a good connection with the club as well because I can yeah. talk to the coach and then I'm recruiting people and yeah. put a few names out there because you know Oakley Chargers is a bit of a footy factory so Brooke Vickers came from there as well Look out. Charlie Robottom you know Oof. So yeah, the list goes on really <laughs> Yeah, I was going, I don't know who else comes from Oakley. Yeah, myself. Do you? Yeah. Oh, the Chargers. Yeah. Anyway. There we go. Just not, a couple not of big names. It's so. fine. <laughs> not about me. It's about yes, it is. This whole podcast is <laughs> about me. Yes, we love it. Um, have you found that being part of that, you were able to implement like leadership skills that you've been learning through like Belinda Clark and things like that a bit more? Or yeah. has that not really been front of mind? Oh, it hasn't been front of mind, but I feel like the stuff we're doing with Belinda Clark is honestly just making me a better person. Like, yep. it's everyday things you can work on just by uh, your relationships with people. Yeah. Um, okay, give me top oh God, three stop. tips yes. from Belinda oh, Clark. Or yes. top three tips you've learnt this year. Nah, nah, nah. I'm yeah. overwhelmed. I don't know. <laughs> just take a moment, take okay, a pause. Okay. Nah, it's actually all lost. It's all gone blank now. Actually, yeah, okay, I'm really bad at me your things. top one tip that you've oh. implemented. Wow, Jess. Um, you, you know one. I know you know one. Words get confused in my head. That's okay. Um, leadership is about, I think it's something like leadership is about inspiring, not telling. Like, not mm-hmm. that necessarily, but like you're there to inspire your teammates to be better, not to tell them how to be better. Yes. Yeah. Something like that. I like it. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. 
Yeah. That is good. Yeah. Leadership is about, yeah, helping people be themselves. Yeah, helping people be the best version of themselves. Yeah. Not. Rather than tell them. Yeah. That's not going to get you very far. No. Because everyone's so different. I like it. I love, yeah, well, that's what I love about footy. Like, our whole list, everyone's so different. And it's kind of funny. You, like, force 30 people to be on a team together. And it's just funny watching it all unfold. The dynamics. Um, yeah. It's great. Very entertaining, isn't it? It is good. It is good. We're very lucky. We've got yeah. a very good group. I, yeah, I love our group. There's yeah. good, good vibes. Good yeah. vibes. Great vibes. We love it. Um, and then anything outside of football, what do you get up to? What's your typical week? Hmm. With all my spare time. Yeah. Um, clearly. <laughs> you know what I have been doing recently? What? This is really random. I learned how to play chess and I'm right into it. I think I'm going to buy a chess book and like learn some of the strategies. You know, you oh know gosh. I'm going to be what the Queen's that? Gambit is what I'm telling you right now. That's the, move. That's yeah. the show I was about. I'm going to like diamond head red, get like a weird bob haircut and just like really lean into it. Hi. <laughs> have you good. played suicide chess? No. What's that? Where you just try and die. Why? I well, love you it. win. You win if when you, you die. Like the less, pe- like Wait, as soon as all of your pieces are gone, you win. That's really hard because you have to like think the opposite. I'm not there yet. I haven't played that many games of chess in my life. It. You're there. Okay. Yeah. Do Maybe you we give should... me normal chess. Hey, the logic. Hey, yeah. I cannot think three, four steps ahead. No, nah, that's heaps. Should we chess sometime? Yeah, I'll chess. All right, let's chess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Done. So yeah. that's what I do with all my spend. <laughs> Just my chess. My like chess on a board or is it on a no, computer? No, on the board. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have a play more right now. I'm play chess online. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I just chess with the board. Chess with the board. Yeah. Yeah. Are you playing anyone that actually knows how to play that are no, teaching no. you or you're just having fun with it? Just having fun. And the person that taught me like kept forgetting rules. And then so the first oh, game was like, oh, no, actually, you can do this. I'm like, I swear you're making these up so you can beat me. Yeah. But no, they were being. I probably would do that. Yeah, that sounds like a just good thing to do. Yeah, I wouldn't tell you really any of the rules and then you're just trying it. I'm like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you're a bowl. <laughs> Anything else? Any other fun facts about me and Gil that people don't know? Facts. Oh, gosh. I don't I've, have to be fun. They can just be facts. It's not fun. I just like, I love riding my bike. Yeah. Yeah, I ride my bike around. That's fun. That is fun. Especially now that it's getting warm. Also, I don't know why I'm telling you this. How random. How good that it's daylight savings on Sunday. Don't we lose an hour? Yeah, but it's like lighter for longer. Or do we get an hour? We get an hour. No, no, no. We lose an hour. You spring forward. You get more daylight, but you spring forward. We're losing an hour, so. But you'll be okay, I think. 23 hour day should be right. Well, 6 a.m. becomes 5 a.m. No, 7 a.m. becomes 7. Jakers. Anyway, that's not relevant to me at all. I just really like daylight savings <laughs> because then we're like out and about for longer, you know? Yeah. Nights are lighter for longer. Exactly. Mornings are lighter. I'm a very big morning person. Oh, you're a morning yeah. girl? Give okay. me a morning walk. I like that we're looking at each other through <laughs> the microphone. <laughs> like, because I'm so small. Um, I, I guess it up really straight. Um, so, yeah, that's good. I'm a morning girl too, I guess. <laughs> that is great. This weekend, looking forward to playing Sydney. I'm very much looking forward to playing Sydney. Um, yeah. They're coming to us, which is fun. I love a home game. Yeah, I love a game um, and icon. I thought Park Games are the best. And you know what's yeah. even better? Sticking with this daylight savings theme. <laughs> the game's at what, like four or five? Four o'clock. So four and five? Four, sorry. Four like o'clock. five. But it's kind of just yeah. like that nice, like, is it tw- like twilight kind of vibe? I think so. Yeah. And sunset at icon. Yeah. Although it's, it's blinding, different. it is... Gorge. <laughs> that would be an interesting time yeah. for a toss. The direction. Oh, okay, of now, where now this is where it gets interesting. Yeah. You should probably chat with Kez on that one. Yeah, I'll let her know. Yeah. She That's will huge not take any notice of me. <laughs> <laughs> she should, though, you know. Oh, no. What? There was one training. We were doing a drill. I got a handball received, and I was like, haha, cool. Did a forward 50 entry. Yeah. It's just like, Goody, if you ever do that in the game, I'm the kind of like, And what did you do? Don't we can do that. Like, know your role, play your role. Whoa. Small people do that. Not big people. Get down the line. But I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Talk people have feelings too. Um, <laughs> 
I wanted to do it on the weekend, Jess. What did I do on the weekend? I got a number. We're safe. And a Ford entry. And his hasn't said a word to me about it. I saw the way I talked to Kim. I was like, don't give it out. That's goody. Hey, goody, you okay? This is me checking in right now. Thanks. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I've got thick skin. I know my role. And I did not play by getting that handball received. self <laughs> But, but it was we, I, was, I was more so like wanting her to fake it. Yeah. To then go the other way. Did. And yeah. I was like, well, if you're free, cool. Hey, told use, you your, use your so demand to fit the ball. Nah, honestly, I'll back you in, babe. Yeah. <laughs> anytime, but anyway, enough of that. Um, so Swans, good matchup. Yeah. We played them in preseason. Result didn't go our way, but yeah, preseason matches is all about really learning. Um, yeah, like that was our first shot at like the new game plan, you know. So yeah. we've grown a lot since then, and I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, um, don't want to like say too much, I guess, because you just gotta like back the process and then yeah. come game day, do what you can do. Um, but yeah, playing Lucy Macbo should be fun. Um, That's always a fun matchup. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a bit of that. Um, Largy barge there, yeah, just because she can talk a lot of smack and we can Always. talk back, so yeah, it should be entertaining. I'll probably give her something, yeah, as you should, yeah. Go get a ham to save next year. I'd be like, ha, sucked in, just like run yeah, on. Come guard me, Lucy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two girls get a ham or a suit, exactly. Do you want to join me in a ruck contest? Come on, bring you it. Put, I feel like she got put in the ruck to the force, so I would be surprised, yeah, because she actually did with the <laughs> ass last year. Uh, Lisa. Oh, funny, um, and what else? Anything else to mention on? Well, there's a big um, it's a big rut contest this week, actually. Yeah, it will be a big one. Ali's having an absolute killer of a season. Yeah, she started off so strong. So we'll see how we go. We, apparently, yeah. the rut duo is called Good Good Moods. I've been plugging it. I like it actually. <laughs> I have actually oh, you've been, been plugging it. your own yeah. duo. Well, people always ask about it. Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah, you may as well start yeah, using so like, like cute little niche name. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, Josh Jenkins, they were like having a bit of a chat about it, and was like, it's a good move. It's, like, it's, it's a good move. move. Yeah, back it. Nah, yeah. I'm on the. Carl's I need to get on that bandwagon. Come on, yes, it is. Let's see. Good mood, great mood. Yeah. I think that's about it. Go Carlton. Go Carlton. See you four or five on Friday. <laughs> Cannot wait. Grand final eve. I think there's a couple of games. Yeah, on it's it's double, So what's it called? Double header. Double header, maybe. Cute. I don't know. Bit of footy beat up to Icon Park. Yeah, and it'll be an absolute it'll be lit. great Arvo, and I really look forward to it. So thank you so much for Thanks joining me. Thanks for having me, me Jessica. It's been a yeah, great chat. Yeah, great chat. Yeah. Okay, great. Shout out to Great Southern Bank, our co-major partner for sponsoring this podcast.